Oh, those jerks. Instability is the most annoying thing. That's what's gonna get me killed in the end. Can I become immune to instability? That's what I wonder. That would be the best immunity, in my opinion. Winter is coming. But hopefully not for a few months anyway. Welcome back to RL Craft. I made some promises last episode. And, uh, boy do I hate myself for making those promises. I am going to try my hardest to end this episode going to the end, fighting the Ender Dragon. What I realized when I was doing a little bit of maintenance in between episodes is that I kind of have stuff that I need to do before I go into the end. Uh, first off, uh, maybe I didn't even mark it down. In between episodes, I traveled around looking for the book of uh, the with the curse of possession, right? Because I don't want to lose my sword to a sticky mob. Like, pretty much the first place that I decided to look was going around from port city to port city and getting down on the ground and just walking around and looking for any and every librarian villager. I found one on, like, my maybe third or fourth port city that had the curse of possession. Those I bought... A few Curse of Possession books. So I have a couple of backups. I really only need it for the swords. But I bought a couple extras just in case. So another thing that I did was I made warp scrolls. Now the other thing. I built this. I haven't gone in yet. But I built it. Let's just jump right into it. Okay. We are here. Let's put the bed like right down here I guess. Perfect. Now we're going to mark this down on this map. Now we fight. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing that I, I like to have before I go into a boss battle, such as the end, is I want to have a Totem of Undying to use in my offhand instead of a shield. But there was there's another thing that's very useful if you're going into the end, because the only time that I died in the end, I no, actually I, I died once to enemies, but the most devastating was Season 1, when I died by falling off the edge. More so I was like thrown off the edge. I was looking that up to see if there's a way to avoid that and apparently there's a fairy ring. Ring of the fairies imbues the wearers with traits of the fairy people. Abilities include flight, climbing, and a tiny stature. So you actually become small. Is that how that works? I want to get one of those. The only problem is you cannot craft them. They can only be found as loot. Uh, one of the only places that you can find them as loot is in a Doom-like dungeon. Actually, I think, was it season one? Or was it like season three, two and a half? Is that what it was? Where um, I actually went to a Doom-like dungeon. I didn't know at the time. Oh, hey. Cool. So it was at some point I ended up in a Doom-like dungeon. And that was actually one of the most annoying situations for me as far as sticky. That's where I was first told to get the Curse of Possession to prevent that from happening again. Apparently in the boss room of a Doom-like dungeon, there is a really good loot chest. That's like one of the only places that you can find a fairy ring. So what I did in between episodes, while I was also looking for the Curse of Possession, obviously, is I searched for a doom-like dungeon and I actually found two I think unless they're attached they're like pretty much right next to each other oh I, I can't actually show you them on the map right now oh, oh. and the reason I can't show you them on the map right oh god is because I am in a different dimension oh there we go we got a totem of undying let's get like one more totem of undying maybe Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, that's so many spiders. I'm I'm honestly just gonna play it by ear though. I'm gonna go into the doom like dungeon that I have marked down, and if I don't end up getting the loot that I want in the first couple of dungeons that I have marked, I'm just gonna give up. And I'll go fight the Ender Dragon and just pray that I don't fall off the edge. Oh, here we go. All 
All right, I got two. I'm gonna call that good enough. Every single person here drops silver armor, huh? Maybe I should come here earlier on in order to hunt for, ow, for silver. Cool, so that is out of the way. Now I can show you the Doom-like dungeon. It is down here. That's This is what I marked out. There was one here, and then there was one like right up on top of the hill here. Um, I don't know if they're connected underground or if they're two separate ones. But I am about to go check it out. So... I'm going to have a pickaxe out quite a lot. And that means that sticky mobs are going to be grabbing that pickaxe off me. But even if I have to just like stand there and just murder every enemy that comes at me with my sword until all the spawners break, then so be it. I can do that. Oh yeah, I did tip I did dip my toes down here just to make sure that this was a doom like dungeon. And I got attacked immediately by one of those, what are they called? Vulcans? The guys that turn cobblestone into lava. Oh, those jerks. Instability is the most annoying thing. That's what's going to get me killed in the end. Can I become immune to instability? That's what I wonder. That would be the best immunity, in my opinion. I have no idea where the boss room is here. Because I swear that I, like, fully searched the one that I went to before in whatever season that was. But I do not remember a boss room. You know what I should do? This, probably. Here we go, here we go. Look at all these spawners. Oh, another Gru. Chill out, Gru. Oh, not one of these. Stop it. Everybody just stop it. Everybody just leave me alone. How there's so many Gru's. Oh my god, that thing. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, who's it? What is this tremor doing in here? Is that like a tremor spawner? Banshee, Banshee, stop. Banshee, stop. Banshee, stop. Alright, guys. Uh, I need you to chill. Uh, okay. Break. Break. Oh. Okay, what did I just get? I got a cracked black dragon scale. That's awesome. I also got a forbidden fruit, which is awesome. So I don't even need to make a cracked black dragon scale now. Now I just need the ender scale from the ender dragon. Perfect. Oh god, there's so many of them. It's not fair. Why do you keep spawning? Seriously, though. Ooh, weather skeleton skull. Don't mind if I do. I don't know where half of these spawners are hidden in walls, but I don't like it. Alright, is there a boss room this way? I feel like I've been here, but oh, nope. Apparently I haven't. Ooh, this place is crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never played Doom. Whatever sort of nostalgia trip this is supposed to be is kind of lost on me. But also, like, where does Doom keep its bosses? We got a staircase. This is probably, honestly, the staircase that leads up to the other entrance of this. Is this going to bring me to the, the top of the hill there? I hope they didn't, like, spawn in each other. Yep, this is the other one that I saw. Huh. Are they all? Do they all have, like, two entrances? Or... Here we go. We got a new spot that we haven't been to. If I can clear out, like, every section that I go through, then I'll know I'm somewhere new when I find new spawners. New spot. Oh, God. Oh, we got shade. Chill out. Still not a boss, though. Wow, you are beefy. I wonder if you have a backpack. Whenever I come across a zombie that's really beefy, usually has a backpack on him. There's a lot of uh, spawners in here. Get, 
get out of here. I'm busy. I don't know where the uh, boss room might be here. This is wild. Oh god. Where'd you come from? Nope, I've been all over this place. Guys, where in the world is the boss room? <sighs> Do I look in every single chest? Is that what this is going to be now? A chest hunt? You know, all these chests are very lame. I don't think this place has a boss. <sighs> Here we go. We got some stuff. Maybe this is the boss room. I mean, this chest seems to have, like... A decent amount of loot. None of that loot matters to me. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Do I give up? I think I might just have to give up here. How many of you guys are there? I don't even know what the boss is supposed to look like here. Maybe I'm gonna have to actually look it up. I found one at spawn and it had a boss and went, and went exploring and found two more. But had no boss bar or anything. Is there a boss? And I'm not seeing it, or is it actually gone? And tons of small rooms with spawners of all kinds and chests. No bosses, though. Okay, so you're telling me that Doom like dungeons don't have bosses? Where the hell do I find the ring? Hey, so I'm looking for a fairy ring or a dwarves ring. Both of them I want, blah, 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 blah. Just do Doom like dungeons. They're rare, but I found plenty. They spawn in the in the boss room on top of a spawner and contain above average loot. There's no boss room in a doom like dungeon though. You I mm. one person's telling me there's no boss. One person's telling me you find the fairy ring in the boss room. Can confirm the only place I've seen them drop has been from Doom like dungeons. They are Relatively rare, however. The rings, not the dungeons. For some general odds, I found my first dwarf in my 6th to 7th Doom-like and my first fairy in 11 to 13? Oh. Oh. In these things, too? Apparently, whatever the heck this is. Um, what is this? I got dwarves ring from a huge, very laggy structure. I don't know its mod. It has vanilla mob spawner. But full set, there are king room. Ring was in the king room. The only way to get them is from infernal mobs, the ones with effects. But it's extremely rare. You most likely won't find one. Nobody seems to really know what's going on with the fairy ring. It can be found rarely in doom-like dungeons. Nether doom-like dungeons and mega battle towers apparently have better chance of getting it, although it's unconfirmed. You can also find it in Mega Battle Towers from Like a Knight's Mobs. Let me look up a Mega Battle Tower, because if that's the thing that I was looking at before... Mega Battle Tower. Yeah, I think that's what... maybe? So if I can find my way the heck out of here again... I'm leaving. And I'm going searching for a Mega Battle Tower. So I'm looking for a Mega Battle Tower. Which is likely going to be out in the ocean. I don't think I marked any of them down, unfortunately. But honestly, a fairy ring might just be way too lofty a goal. It might not be achievable. And you know what? That's kind of okay. I think I'm going to just try to stay on my mount the entire time. There's the Ender, Ender Queen's crown. I can wear that, and while I'm in the end, uh, if I get attacked, any Enderman nearby will fight for me. So if I wore that, I can easily, quickly kill the Ender Dragon. Then swoop down, pick up the loot while still on the back of my mount, and any enemy that comes after me will get swarmed by Endermen. At least that's how I think it works. Honestly, I swear, I see them like all the time, except for apparently when I'm looking for them. Is that one? Oh yeah, here's one. They said the second floor is where you get the good loot. There's so many enemies, it's insane. Alright, break all this stuff if I can. Whoa! 
Got a little lag action here. So it must be these three chests that are like caged that are the good ones, maybe? Alright, this is wild. There's so many Vex. Guys, I'm being vexed right now. Thought I took out every spawner in this whole place. Oh, you must be spawning from upstairs. Oh, yes, this is amazing loot. This is incredible loot. Seven gas tiers. That's insane. Seven gas tiers? I'm pretty sure I needed gas tiers for something. What do we have here? And more strength. More spectral silt. Some umbrium ingots. What do we want from here? We definitely want these. Cool. Alright, this is a ridiculous number of you guys. And we're going up. Oh, I fell back down. So unfortunately, in those three chests, we didn't get what we were looking for. God, there's a million people here, and I hate it. Alright, what is in here? Here we go. We got a spawner. This must be like a super spawner because this is insane how many of these there are. Alright, let's 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 like keep working our way down, I guess. Although, I am very... Oh, God. I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Maybe I just shouldn't be here. Shit! You fucking sons of bitches. I'm gonna die of thirst in here. This is insane. I have to leave because I'm thirsty. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Get me out of here. Where's the outside wall? Oh, my God. It doesn't end. It never freaking ends. Oh, this is hell. This is pure torture. I need to find the, the exit. Oh, come on. Help. 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 Let me out. Let me the fuck out of here. Let me out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me out. There we go. Oh, my God. Yes. All right, now let's get out of here. I don't think I'm going to find any more loot in there. That was insane. Unfortunately, I really just don't think that I'm going to get myself a fairy ring. So instead, let's just go to the end. Oh, I need to heal up my Tide Guardian helmet real fast. I should make golden carrot juice. I need sugar. I don't think I have any... I don't think I have any sugar. So let's go, let's go on a quick little mission. We're going to go grab some sugar. We'll fill up some bottles with water. But I'd also like to find a battle tower that maybe I haven't been all the way through yet. Ooh, I don't even have enough farming. Cool. Well, now I do. I'm getting myself extra, extra prepared. Oh, here we go. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Look at all these monkeys. So I've done, I've seen one of these before. I don't know if one of these happened while I was in an episode or not. Maybe. But yeah, essentially it just spawns a bunch of those weird monkey mobs. And they just throw their poop around everywhere. Stop it. Stop it. Dang. I'm getting pushed around by that monkey. I'm, I'm just afraid that if I shoot an arrow at that monkey, what if I activates the... Tower Guardian. It didn't. Okay. And now, see ya. I'm just here to get all the XP I can. Head is mostly healed now. Alright, so we are going to make carrot juice. Golden carrot juice. Wait, is this not it? Oh, I need it purified. That's right. 
The question is, do I want to bring 56 golden apples with me? You know what? I, I'm getting way too overprepared. Let's put the golden apples back. The only thing that I have to worry about in this fight is falling off the edge of the world. Easy peasy, simple as that. So now we can begin looking for the end. All right, let's 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 see where we go. It wants us to head this direction. Like, I don't know how far I'm gonna have to go. Maybe it's like right around the corner. Maybe it's not. But it's a lot easier to like pick stuff up, stuff off, pick stuff up off the ground when I'm on this guy. Because I can see a lot more. When I'm on my uh, Morok, like more than half of the screen is taken up. And I can't pick things up. I've tried opening chests. It really sucks. There we go. I was able to pick it up. It still took me a little while. It's still going the right way. Which means this place is pretty far from where we started. Yeah, let's throw one more. Ready? Oh! Now we're switching over to this direction. We're going to stop right here. We're going to throw again. Oh, it's behind us. So it's down here somewhere. Throw another one. Right about here. Okay. Let's go straight down. Never dig straight down in Minecraft. Ooh, Sylph. That's good. That's the right direction, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I found it. Oh, God. We got one of these guys. Which one's this? Is this a lobber? Nope. That's the Vulcan. This is a busted uh, place. Hopefully it still has a room. Portal room. It's like uh, there's a ravine running through it. Here we go. We're out of the ravine. Get me to that portal room. Ooh, we got a library. And this is out. Oh, this is the bottom of the ravine, I suppose. Strongholds are almost as bad as Doom-like dungeons. They're crazy labyrinths. Nothing but dead ends around here. Gosh, this is this is awful. If I have to find another stronghold because this one, the room got like separated by the ravine or something, I assume that this version of Minecraft had more than one stronghold. I'm having bad luck this episode. But there's more floors to this, isn't there? Oh, God. Um, all right, there's something here. There's stuff over there. Okay, there's nothing here. I lied. Nope, we've already been all around here. Oh, man. First, we got no boss room in the Doom-like dungeon. And now we've got no portal room in the stronghold? I hate all of this. All right, here's a stairwell. Yes, if I go down here. Ooh, here. Hey, we're in the library again. All right, there's something up there. There's something in there. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Oh, we found it. I found it. Break the port. Break the spawner. Let's cover up all this lava. And then we'll drink some water. And then we're ready to go in. So here's how this is going to work. First of all, let's... uh open the portal all right guys i promised this i promised we were going in here today and i didn't get done what i wanted to get done but we by golly we're going in here we have to put the warp scrolls down here on the hot bar we also need ender pearls on the hot bar let's slap on this crown there it does go there oof Okay, I honestly, I don't know if this thing is even going to work. I don't know if there's any point to that. Let's do it. Oh, please don't let me fall off. Please don't let me fall off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly summon my Maroc. Ah, oh, here we go. Now let's just easily break all of these. Easy peasy. Oh, they put both of the caged ones next to each other for me. That's convenient. There we go. Man, oh man. All right, I think I've got one more to go right here. There we go. And then I've just got these two caged ones. Ow. 
That actually hurt. Oh, let's uh, head. I don't know. Maybe this will work. Hit. Okay, it did. Okay. And we should be good to destroy this Ender Dragon. Yeah, get him. Get him, Enderman. Whoa, that dragon's angry. There we go. Now we're getting some hits in on this Ender Dragon. Yes. All right, back off, you Epeon. Imagine if um, I got a sticky Ender Dragon. I wonder if you can get, like, a blighted Ender Dragon. Oh, I see. The Endermen are, like, pissed at the Ender Dragon. Oh, I forgot to bring what I needed to collect the egg again. I always forget to bring the stuff I need to collect the egg. I have to wait until she jumps off this again. And go! There it is. Thank you. Okay, where is... Oh, God. I need these uh, scales. Thank you very much. Why am I on fire? Why am I on fire? What is happening? God, eat this apple. Back off, Pinky. Sorry. Guys, do your job. I got instability. All right, Ender Dragon scale. Ender Dragon scale. Stop! Oh, God. Oh, God, don't let this happen to me. Oh, I just need Ender Dragon scale. Um, anything else that I need? All right, stop. God damn. Go get him. Go get him. All right, there was something else over here, right? Ender dragon scale. Maybe not. Maybe that was it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a skeleton skull. Thank you. All right, I'm getting out of here. Bye. Ooh, we did it. That is the second time? Third time? No. Third time I've fought the ender dragon in RL craft in a video. Second time that we have beat that Ender Dragon in our RL craft hardcore run. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Now the Ender Dragon's out of the way, so now we can just kind of relax. Take our time before we go fight those three bosses. We have so much to do. Next episode, the main thing I want to do is I want to hatch those dragon eggs. I've got three dragon eggs. I want to hatch all three of them. Another thing is I want to look into making baubles. I have currently the supplies that I need to make the the multicolored scale so that I can be immune to wither and poison with just one bauble. But if I make that, I also found that apple. I also have vitamins. I also have uh, glasses. I don't remember what I needed for that ring. Oh, it might be a ring in the end city, actually, because it like... Uh, was it like a ring that made me immune to levitation maybe? I forget. But I'm pretty sure whatever the bubble, the last bubble that I need to make an Ankh charm is going to be in an end city. So I might have to dip back into the end and go looking for one of those rings in an end city as well as a bunch of uh, shulker box pieces. Maybe if we have time in the next episode, I'll look into creating a full set of golem armor. So many things to check out. Uh, so many new different mobs that I would love to tame. I'd love to have another hippogriff. I would love to get one of those amphitheers from a jungle. But most importantly, I just want a really badass dragon that I can fly around on. That that sounds pretty cool. That might be a, a, uh, an easy way to beat the uh, the bosses, right? If I just like fly above them and rain fire down on them, then I don't have to deal with all the guys on the ground. But... That's going to do it for me this week. Thank you for watching. I'll be back next Friday. Peace out. God, I didn't read any of this, but it sounds really creepy. Like they took away my body?
what is this part of like the actual minecraft lore that i just never paid attention to or is this like an rl craft special is it aliens okay whoops oh god oh my god I, there's like some sort of weird glitch i guess when i come back from the end it puts me at like beginner hearts all right bye what do we got did we get another egg oh we got two eggs oh my god that is incredible we got two eggs we now have three different colored dragon eggs honestly that's amazing